So I had some offcuts from uh, a previous gig that I did uh, that had been used for a floor, some nice birch plywood, um, and I measured it to size, ripped it up, and then uh, safety first, and then I sanded it down because it was filthy, flipped it over, did the same. There was some uh, screw holes and a big crack that had been filled through manufacturing, so I tried to avoid that stuff, uh, and then I measured up to get my squares. And then I sanded just each corner. Filled the bullet holes that I couldn't avoid, and then dusted them off, <laughs> and then primed them with white. I did a couple of coats in the end, just to be sure. And then measured up. I had an off cut of 18 mil, so I used that, and then masked off everything. And of course, trimmed the ed the ends of the tape. That's what it looks like. Now, I designed this thing, and I got the measurements of this part wrong three times. So, if you are going to build one of these things, uh, double, triple, quadruple check your measurements to make sure that you're getting it absolutely right. Because to have to tear off all this masking tape and start again is really irritating. So, just be careful. And then I painted everything up black on the outside of the masking tape. I, cut, I did a couple of coats on that stuff as well. And then just to be sure, I scored the edge of the masking tape when it had all dried with a knife so that when it came time to peeling off, um, it didn't. the masking tape didn't take any paint with it because sometimes that just makes more work. That is the satisfying bit. I have one of these uh, right angle clamps that hold your work at a perfect right angle and they're, they're, they're pretty good and quite useful but they're really really fiddly to get absolutely right and to be honest you, for the time you spent doing that you might as well just hold it and screw it together. But I put three screws countersunk in the back there to hold that together and then I glued the top and the bottom. actually clamped the, the piece to the, the workbench there just to hold it in place and hold it absolutely perfect. I'm going to do the same with the, what is actually the bottom, but there we go. You can kind of see the, the illusion there. And I because I countersunk everything, I filled all the holes here and sanded them flat and painted them back over. And there you have it. It's a 3D shelf.